So, hi Lucas, how are you today? Very good, how good. are you? Oh, good. Uh, let's see, uh, the first question uh, I would have to ask, um, let's see if you want to talk about where are you from? Uh, I'm from Australia originally, um, from a small town called Bendigo, Victoria. Um, but I lived in Sydney a lot of my adult life training and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I moved to New York f three and a half years ago to do music mainly. Um, yeah, I love it. It's great. I love being here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I actually, my, the first thing I actually studied in college, um, was acting. I, I went to a full-time acting school and, um, studied acting. That was kind of my first, um, uh, my first love because I always sung and I always wrote songs but the first time I actually stepped in a into a professional kind of world of training um, but I was 19 and that was a long time ago <laughs> um, but I, it's always kind of been an interest of mine I really love I love the arts you know I, I studied acting I studied um, dance um, and singing so I kind of have done a lot of both not so much a lot of acting professionally, but a lot of dance and a lot of singing. Um, well, at the time I was just kind of looking for projects, just things to kind of keep myself creative. Um, and I saw this on Mandy and I met Danielle and I think we just kind of hit it off. I love her audition process of just meeting. I think it's fantastic. You can really tell a lot about an actor just by who they are, I believe. Um, so I think I thought it was really a really great way to go about it um, and you know you, you get you might see a brief for a show or something like that but it's until you get, read the words that you kind of really get a good idea of what whether it's worth it any talent <laughs> worth if there's talent behind the script and there was there's a lot of heart and a lot of um, real emotion um, and playing Michael I mean, it couldn't be any more challenging, um, but also rewarding. I think that, you know, he kind of saw or sees the, the world a little differently. Um, you know, growing up gay, that's obviously a, a, an automatic attachment, a, a similarity we have. Um, and that comes with a lot. That comes, I mean coming just growing up gay alone really uh, you kind of implode in your teenage years you can't help it because you can't I mean some people are very lucky and, and live um, an honest truthful life and and sexuality from a very young age now which is fantastic when I where I grew up and the situ my situation I just couldn't so you kind of implode and I feel like that he was that kind of way as well um, and that, you know, you can either go two ways from that. You can either, you either become uber sensitive to the world, um, or you kind of lash out and go extreme gay. <laughs> I call it extreme gay. You kind of become a, 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 um, caricature of a gay person. And I feel like he kind of maybe, um, went the exaggerated version and kind of did a lot of things that he shouldn't have done um, whereas I kind of imploded a little bit um, but so it's kind of interesting to play the other side of that I've always witnessed it from an from a outside perspective of, but um, this is this is really interesting to, to delve into well Brooklyn is just Brooklyn is that's the first place I ever played. As soon as I got to New York, I had a, a gig in Williamsburg at Spike Hill. And, you know, it's there's so many amazing people and such a, an amazing culture in Brooklyn. And everyone there is... It's like a very organic, chilled, uh, gritty... Uh, it's a gritty place to kind of... To be, um, and there's a lot of real people living there. It's just it's, it's it's beautiful. It's a lot of great food, a lot of great culture, and the music scene there is just sensational. I believe it's probably it's much better than it is in um, Manhattan. I believe it's a lot more uh, 
organic. There's a lot more collaboration going on there, a lot more artistry. Struggling to, to, to be who they are. And and part of finding who you who are who you are is is the relationships that you're in. You really get to have that reflected back at you. And uh, I believe that these this this uh, web series really uh, showcases that brilliantly. You know, you can you think you know who you are individually, and then you get in a relationship, and things change because you become part of something else, and something that's no longer you and no longer them. But there's a, there's a third party involved, and that's the relationship. So Brooklyn is in love. It's uh, Brooklyn is in love. <laughs> I, yeah, just got a band. Um, well, I've been working with AJ, my piano player, for a while now. But his sisters came on board, and she plays the violin. And uh, I've got a drummer. And although he's leaving for Cincinnati, but that's okay. I'll find another one. Um, yeah, I've just been really enjoying playing shows and trying to get authentic in my shows. That's that's what I keep telling myself. Just just keep creating good work and be honest. Um, and that seems to be going pretty well. I've been playing um, at the studio at Webster Hall, which was really fun. And um, so opened for Ben Taylor two weeks ago, which was incredible and amazing amazing opportunity so what's next I'm going to lock myself in my room and write and record and create I, I heard a great quote I can't remember who said it I think it was Leonard Cohen but don't quote me on that on the quote he said stop making demos and make art and I think that's that kind of just clicked I went oh yeah I just got to stop thinking about just making a demo and just kind of create something that I'm really proud of um, and you know more of these kind of opportunities more web series um, more things to keep, keep creative that's what's next <laughs>